Hello, my name is Isaac Fanning Madkin and I'm a first year economist at the University of Birmingham and I'm here at my local shopping centre. What used to be a bustling and prosperous hub of activity for my local town has now been reduced to a melancholic conglomerate of empty bricks and mortar. Today I'm pitching to British land, specifically regarding the shopping centres within their £4.1 billion retail arm. Pre-pandemic, shopping centre occupancy rates were already declining, and after a year of uncertainty and opening and closing, the decline has been further accelerated. My proposal aims to provide a solution to this issue, along with emerging new patterns of working after the pandemic has passed. I'm now where the majority of us have spent our time in the last year, desks in our homes. Evidence is saying, although people are bored of working full-time from home, that five days a week commuting is not their preferred solution after the pandemic has settled. They are this scheme's target audience. British Land, my suggestion is to convert some of your empty units into flexible workstations with desks available to individuals to rent in blocks of time, as little as just half a day. Some larger units could have booths to hire for short confidential calls if required. It would not only offset some of your fixed costs, but it would also bring back to life some of these spaces, encouraging the local community back in. I was fortunate enough to spend some time with a large UK retailer a couple of years ago, and I learned something that truly revolutionised my understanding of retail economics. Landlords have to pay business rates if their units are unoccupied. On top of this, there are all of your fixed costs, such as insurance, security, etc. As a result, British land, you must be losing a lot of money with a decreasing level of occupancy. My belief is that this project should be created as a non-profit scheme. Although this may not make any accounting profit, it will make economic profit, and any additional profit can be reinvested into this scheme, perhaps providing desks at a lower charge in some cases. Additionally, there will be an increase in footfall and therefore an increase in business at the retail units which have survived the pandemic, also helping to attract new tenants as secondary benefits. Now let me just share my screen with you. Here are some statistics that I have found whilst researching around the market, which confirmed my hypothesis of changing working patterns is true. Let's delve a little deeper into the operational model. To make this project non-profit, costs must equal revenue. So I broke all these down into mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive categories as seen in this diagram. Using data, I have modelled this decrease and formulated this multivariable equation to work out profit, where revenue R is in the blue circle and costs gamma are in the red. We can see that as marginal revenue is constant, marginal costs will decrease exponentially. We can conclude the greater the area you decide to open up, the more cost effective this scheme becomes. This equation at the bottom would help British Land to calculate the yearly rate which they would have to rent out each desk at different sites in order to be a non-profit. I've tried to model some of the unknowns, however, I'm aware there will be aspects of your business that I'm not familiar with. Now I will go through my assumptions. These are mainly just the figures I've used for the calculations, however, some shouldn't be glazed over. Shopping centres cannot expect full capacity of all these desks all of the time. Some of your sites, and indeed some units within these sites, will be better suited to this scheme than others. They will return better occupancy rates for various reasons, so I'm not suggesting filling every vacant unit with this scheme. Match this to local demand where you have suitable available units. I have completed a SWOT analysis for this business proposal, and I'm confident that the strengths and opportunities outweigh the weaknesses and the threats. After some competitor analysis, the difference between this and WeWork is that this scheme enables individuals to rent workspaces near their homes at a very low cost, as well as working from home and commuting to their usual place of work with their colleagues, to enjoy a blended work pattern, and it seeks to provide a solution to issues raised by the pandemic. Shopping centre landlords could do a lot for their existing tenants, as well as the local workforce through this scheme, to help communities recover after the pandemic, whilst simultaneously rebuilding their own economic prosperity. After all of this, British Land, I implore you to strongly consider this proposal in order to, to restore prosperity and a sense of community in our local towns. Thank you for your time.